card so you know what I'm doing. My name is Liz Atkin, I'm a visual artist and I have compulsive skin picking. I make artwork to manage this condition in my life and I create drawings and give them away for free wherever I am, normally on, on the London Underground. Do you like this drawing? I give them away to passengers, so this is for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Skin picking is quite a difficult cycle to break and sometimes the places I want to pick kind of tingle, almost like there are insects on my body and it makes my hand want to go to that particular place. So if I've got a scab on my shoulder, you know, and my hand would keep going back to that particular place to pick at it. I'm aware that as you're recording me, I'm, I'm scanning my fingers to look for bits to pick. I think of myself living in recovery and I think one of the things that has helped me get better is really find the patterns of where it was happening. So I'd look down at my fingers on the tube and I would, my hands would be bleeding because I would have been picking up my fingers without noticing it. So you know those sort of unconscious times have become the times I make artwork the most because drawing pushes that energy into something else. So if you think every single mark I make with a charcoal could be a moment I'm picking, you know those repetitive patterns with my hands, whether it's the drawings I do in my studio or the graffiti drawings on the train, those repeated movement patterns are sort of shifting it into something visual and something creative. People don't quite know what to do when they see this woman drawing in the middle of the carriage. And graffiti has become this very physical way of using the energy of the disorder right there over an image that's in the paper. The drawing takes a minute or a minute and a half Somebody will have caught my eye in the carriage and kind of given me a look of what you're doing. And it just takes a moment to lean forward and give someone a big smile and say, would you like this drawing? It's for you. So I'll fold it up so you can take it with you. <laughs> that one's for you. You're welcome. I have had this disorder since I was very young, so now uh, I draw on the newspapers wherever I am. Those people might go home just with a free drawing or they might be someone who is also travelling in that anxious state. I used to feel like that all the time. That might be reassuring just to connect with someone else who might be going through something similar. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. See Bye. you. <laughs> this